In this video, we will be discussing about the ABC model of flower development. This model explains how the meristem develops into floral meristem and then finally into flower. And why it has been given this name ABC? It's because these ABC are the class of homeotic genes which work together, which interact together in the development of flower. And we know homeotic genes are the genes that govern the development of anatomical structures in plants. And also remember, in case of animals, homeotic genes are the genes that govern the body plan and its structures. Like we have Hox genes, which are the homeotic genes in our body. Now getting back to the meristem tissue. We know initially it is the undifferentiated cells called the meristematic cells. Then after the differentiation, it differentiates into three types of meristems. One is apical meristem, second one is lateral meristem, third one is intercalary meristem. Furthermore, this apical meristem differentiates into SAM that's shoot apical meristem and RAM that's root apical meristem. And it's from this shoot apical meristem which gives rise to plural meristem. And we see here it is the ABC class of homeotic genes which kicks in and transforms the shoot apical meristem into plural meristem. Now let's try to understand the flower development through diagrams. In the structure of flower, you can see the flower has got four most important structures. The outer one is the sepal or you can say calyx. Then it's followed by petal or corolla, that's the colored part of the flower. Then we see it has stamen or androsium, the male part of the flower. And the last innermost part is the carpal or gynosium, that is the female part of flower. We designate these parts as 1, 2, 3, 4, from outside to the inside, as in whorls. So the first structure is the sepal, the outer one, and the innermost part becomes the fourth whorl, that is the carpal. To understand the floral diagram easily, we can draw the corresponding whorls in concentric rings. The outermost ring designates the outer whorl, that is the first whorl, that is sepal and followed by second, third and fourth whorls. So this illustrates how flower organs are developed in whorls. This concentric ring diagram will be used later in this video for the illustration of ABC model. As of now we will try to explain the homeotic genes for the flower development. We know there are three class of genes that aid in the flower development as we have already discussed these. A class genes, B class genes and C class genes. The A class homeotic genes comprises of two genes. AP1 and AP2, Apitella1 and Apitella2. Then B class comprises of also two genes, AP3 and PI, that's Apitella3 and Pistillata gene. And lastly, the C class homeotic gene has got only one gene by the name of AG, that's Agamer gene. And it's by these five genes, AP1, AP2, AP3, Pistillata and Agamer gene that interact together and transform their shoot apical meristem into plural meristem. Furthermore, we can see the specific contribution of these five genes towards the plural structures. The class A genes, that's AP1 and AP2, promotes the development of sepal. And also, the class A genes promotes the development of petal. Secondly, we see the class B genes, that's AP3 and pistillata that promotes the development of petal and stamen. And finally, we see the only class C gene, Agamemnon gene, promotes the development of carpal and stamen. In order to understand the gene contribution for floral structures, we will use the concentric floral diagram. In that diagram, we see class A genes contributes for the development of sepal. Then for the development of petal, both the class A and class B genes interact and promote the development of petal. Then the third structure, that stamen, is being promoted under the expression of B class and C class genes, that is B plus C genes. And finally, the corporal development is promoted by the expression of C class gene, that is Agamemnon gene. Now let's make the generalized gene interaction diagram for plural structures. First, we have class A genes. Its expression develops the sepal. Secondly, we have class B genes. As we know, B interacts with A also and promotes the development of petal, that's A plus B gives petal. Then we have class C gene, it interacts with B also, so B plus C gives us stamen. And finally the C class gene individually promotes the development of carpal. So this is generalized gene interaction for Arabidopsis thaliana. From this diagram we can see 
A and C are mutually antagonistic to each other. And also B class genes do not express individually. Either these genes function as A plus B or B plus C. And from the A and C antagonistic activity, we see if A is mutated, that time C is expressed. And if C is mutated, that time A will be expressed. So from this generalized gene interaction diagram, we can see it is the B gene that's common in two floral structure developments. One is for petal and second is for stamen. That means B is involved in development of petal as well as in development of stamen. Now let's get to the mutation part. In order to understand the mutation phenotypes of flowers, we will mutate the wild type flower for its A, B and C class genes. And we will see what will be the phenotype. First, if A is mutated, that time B gene will be as such. And also there will be no change in C gene expression. But the A gene is not getting expressed here. So when A gene is not getting expressed here, that time C will be expressed as both are mutually antagonistic. So in place of A genes, we will have C genes here. Now for the development of floral structures, we see the C will develop carpal at first whorl. The second whorl should have been A plus C, but the mutation of A causes it to become B plus C, which develops it into stamen. Then third whorl will be B plus C, that's stamen, and fourth whorl will be C, that's carpal. So in the mutation of A genes, the first and second whorls we should have been sepal and petal or replaced by carpal and stamen. Furthermore, we look into the mutation of C gene. That means here in this gene interaction diagram, the C will be suppressed and A will be expressed in place of C. So the diagram will be like this. Here the A will give us sepal, then A plus B will develop into petal. Then there is a A plus B again, which also develops petal. And finally, there is a, a gene which develops the sepal. So from this diagram, we see the third and fourth worlds are different than wild type flower. The third world should have been B plus C, that's stamen, but here C is mutated, so it becomes B plus A or A plus B, which develops it into petal. And fourth world should have been carpal by the expression of C. But C is mutated here and A is getting expressed, which develops it into sepal. And finally, we look into the mutation of B gene, which is common in two structures. The generalized gene interaction diagram will be without B genes, since B genes are not antagonistic to any gene. So here in this case, only A and C will express. First, A will develop its whorl into sepal. Then there should have been A plus B interaction, but B is mutated here, so only A will express which promotes development of sepal also for second whorl. Then for the third whorl, it should have been B plus C. But B is mutated, that means C is only getting expressed, which develops the third whorl into carpal. And finally, the fourth whorl will be under the expression of C gene, which develops it into carpal. So from the mutation of B genes, two structures are not getting developed here, petal and stamen, which are being replaced by sepal and carpal. So these are the possible phenotypes when A or B or C class genes are mutated. So this is all about ABC model of flower development. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.